one of the main goals of the Alliance is to honor the legacy of Off-Broadway. And this year, we're honoring two extraordinary people who were so important to the community who passed away this past year. Um, and they'll be around for a long time in our hearts and in our memories. So we honor them today. Our first posthumous honor goes to a great friend, not only of Off-Broadway, but to all of the theater. Howard Kissel devoted his life to the theater, to talking about it, writing about it, educating us about it, sharing his extraordinary knowledge and enthusiasm about it in a way that made you happy and proud to be part of it. In addition to his longtime service as theater critic for the Daily News, he served as chairman of the New York Drama Critics Circle. And we're lucky to have Howard's sister, Ann Cassell Elliott, here with us this afternoon. And Adam Feldman of Time Out New York, the current president of the New York Drama Critics Circle. And they're going to accept the award, and Adam is going to say a few words about his predecessor. work is rarely done, uh, as Howard well knew. Uh, he was working right until the end. Uh, for 40 years, he worked for the Newsboy Daily, and then for the Daily News, and finally for the Huffington Post. Uh, it was impossible to miss him at the theater. He always seemed to have his head in the clouds, somewhat literally, if you knew what his hair looked like. But also, uh, figuratively, uh, he had an idealism about him and a generosity that was angelic in its own way. Um, I had the pleasure of knowing him for many years. And uh, he was always the soul of graciousness to me and generosity. Uh, but there were others who knew him for longer. And uh, one of them is uh, my colleague, John Simon, who couldn't be here today. But uh, I would like to read a few remarks from John because uh, they were friends for, for many, many years. To premature death at 69 of Howard Kissel, though it would have been premature at any age, is a severe loss to everyone involved in or interested in theater. Whenever Howard was at a play, before the beginning or during intermission, a small crowd of chatty admirers assembled around him as they did around a few other critics. Lovable as a human being, he managed to be so even as a critic, which without being a milksop is no small achievement. <laughs> Wherever he went, his shock of wavy silver hair was a sinister, if not indeed a rallying point. Howard Kissel was a true friend to everyone he knew, sympathetic, compassionate, and understanding, the last is important. One can be compassionate without full understanding, but full understanding helps immeasurably. And as, as if that wasn't enough, he could also be very we. Uh, we saw each other quite a bit uh, in person, but one of the best things I knew was chatting with Howard on the telephone. He was perfect on the phone and always good for stimulating conversation. It's a good thing that these talks, which in our earlier days could go deep into the night, were not long distance where it would have bankrupted both of us. <laughs> Perhaps kindred to it was his admirably cozy way of chairing both the drama critics and film critics circle, which no one else has ever struggled. The especially nice thing was discussing theater with him, even though we belonged to very different schools of criticism. His tolerance made my strictness, as opposed to his indulgence, acceptable to him and his unassuming way made that indulgence somehow acceptable to me. It was wonderful when we did agree and never annoying when we did not. But memories, alas, are not quite as good as living company, and so sadly, I must cite yet another talent of Howard's, the ability to be missed most intensely, perhaps more than one could miss any other friend. May he rest in peace, may he rest in the peace that he brought to everyone he knew, sharing it with us and himself enjoying it to the utmost. One can truly think of him as having spread and enjoyed good cheer from coast to coast. And how to sum him up now that he is gone, Noel Coward has a little known play called This Was a Man. Of Howard, it can be said, this was a mensch. <laughs> Howard would have been blown away by the response that has um, followed his passing. And on behalf of his family and all of his friends, I thank you very, very much. He would be enormously honored. Thank you.